Your boat engine works even harder than your car engine, especially if you're going fast or towing something. Regular oil changes are a must. Most engine manufacturers recommend changing the engine oil every 100 hours or once a year. It's not a hard job to do, and we'll show you some tips and tricks to make it easier and less messy. Changing the engine oil at the end of the year is a good idea because it leaves fresh engine oil through the winter. So you'll need the right amount of manufacturer recommended oil, an oil filter, an oil filter wrench, an absorbent pad, a funnel, and a container to hold the oil. In most cases, there's not enough space below the engine in a boat to drain the oil. So we're gonna pump the oil out of the dipstick with this pump. It's actually less messy this way. First, you'll wanna warm up the engine. If the boat's out of the water, you'll need to use muffs for that. Second, you'll need to put an absorbent pad underneath the engine to catch any spills when you replace the oil filter. Remove the oil fill cap to make it easier to suction the oil. If the oil filter is mounted upside down, you can punch a hole in it with a nail to help the oil drain back into the pan, and that'll be less messy. Insert the tube into the dipstick hole until you feel it bottoming out, and then start pumping. When you start to hear it gurgle, move the stick around and make sure you've gotten as much oil as you can out. Here's a tip. After loosening the oil filter, use an inside out one gallon Ziploc bag and pull the filter right into it. Make sure the gasket is off. Zip up your bag and no mess. Dab some new oil on the gasket to keep it from sticking and help it seal better. And then spin the filter on hand tight. A good tip is to write the date on the end of the filter so you'll know when it was last done. Check the owner's manual to see how much oil needs to be added after filter and oil change. Because the pump doesn't get quite as much out as draining the oil, you'll have to add a little bit less at first and then check it after five or 10 minutes. Once the boat's back in the water, you wanna warm up the engine, check around the oil filter for leaks and make sure there's a proper amount of oil. Don't forget to recycle your oil and properly dispose of the filter. If you've already got the pump, it's gonna cost you about $20 for the filter and the oil. If you took this to a shop, they would probably charge you about $100 for the same job. And if you wanna save even more money, Check out our video on how to change the lower unit lube. Now let's go have some fun.